accident, slip and fall, call Rubenstein Lloyd, 1-800-FL-LEGAL. This is 7 News, today in Florida. A dangerous drive taking a traffic turn at... Your head on... Collision. Police say one of the cars is stolen. An alarming arrest leaving... South Florida neighborhood in disbelief. One resident accused of murdering her mother and gets set to sweat. Mother nature turning up the heat in South Florida. Plus, a mega mom breaking barriers, strutting her stuff down the runway this morning. She's opening up about her model behavior. Good Wednesday morning, South Florida. I'm Alex Tiarmas. And I'm Diana Diaz. Let's get a check on the forecast and what Mother Nature as a sore force. Vivian Gonzalez has the details. Hi, Viv. Well, definitely typical summer heat across the area, so make sure that you're drinking plenty of water. I can't stress it enough. Feels like temperatures will range between 100 and 105 degrees in some areas. So if you can limit outdoor activities, do so. And also because of the fact that there's Saharan dust in the air and it acts as an allergen. So for those of you who suffer from respiratory issues, you need to know that there's an air quality alert for sections of Broward and Miami-Dade. Weather-wise, today, tomorrow, just a tad drier, we'll see a few isolated inland storms. Right now, temperatures extremely warm, especially in Key West. It's already 86 degrees, 79 in Fort Lauderdale, 80 in Miami. With your day planner going with a quiet morning, by the afternoon, 30% rain chance. Look for a daytime high of 92. But so far, so good. At least it's dry extending into Key West. Plenty of sunshine around. And you'll notice a little haze in the sky once you step outside the door. I'll be back with your complete outlook in a few minutes. Time now for fast track traffic. Good morning. Absolutely no issues on the Palmetto Expressway. Crash-wise, road for rise, broken down car-wise, but uh, right now we're experiencing the typical morning congestion, and so that's why you've got just a slight tap of the brakes. Between the big curve and Dolphin Expressway, the entire commute is going to take just about 19, 20 minutes, so a few minutes slower there. Issues on the Turnpike extension, and the I-95 is wreck-free, still flowing past Northwest 103rd Street, just fine. Uh, this drive in the express lanes and main lines, still right around 11 minutes between the Golden Glades Interchange and the Dolphin Expressway MacArthur Causeway on ramps 95 north doing well till you make your way into Broward County unfortunately there is a crash affecting I-95 north it's after Pembroke Road now it is off to the side but those delays go back toward Helendale Beach what's typically an eight minute commute is now up to 13 minutes from Helendale Beach Boulevard up to State Road 84. That's seven traffic I'm Lord Lane more traffic it's Dr. Drew minutes. before you hit the road for any vacation this summer visit